Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The Bayraktar UAV or Bayraktar UCAV is a family of unmanned aerial vehicles designed and manufactured by Turkish company Baykar. The UAVs were developed for the Turkish Armed Forces from 2004 until the present day. Some models are designed for surveillance and reconnaissance only. Others are capable of tactical ground strike missions. In more recent years, Baykar has begun developing drones to counter other aerial systems. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the latest drone that is under development, the Bayraktar Kizil Elma. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. Baykar is a private Turkish defense company which was founded in 1984 as Baykar Makina, a CNC precision machining supplier contractor by the late Ozdemir Bayraktar, with the primary goals being production of automotive parts to ensure the localization of the automotive industry. Established in this direction, Baykar is an engineering company founded with 100% domestic capital. It took steps towards producing unmanned aerial vehicles in the 2000s in line with the developments and progress in the aviation sector. Baykar's chief technical officer, Selkuk Bayraktar, was born in 1979 in Istanbul. Throughout his educational years, he achieved a master's degree in engineering and later studied a PhD degree at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where he worked on unmanned helicopter systems. He completed his master's in 2006 with a thesis titled Aggressive Landing Maneuvers for Unmanned Aerial Vehicles. He returned to Turkey in 2007, cutting his PhD studies short to work at Baykar. Immediately afterwards, he launched one of his signature products, the Bayraktar TB2 drone, convincing the Turkish Defense Ministry that there was no longer a need to import US-made drones, as the TB2s were qualified enough for Ankara's national interests. The brother of Selkuk, Haluk Bayraktar, is the CEO and general manager of the company who received an undergraduate degree from the Middle East Technical University for Industrial Engineering in 2000 and completed his master's degree in the same field at Columbia University in 2002. In 2004, he started his doctoral studies in business administration and in the same period he worked as an engineering manager in the project design stages of the works for the development of national and unique unmanned aerial vehicle systems within the family company, involved in conceptual design, prototype, testing, production, training, and business stages. Recent advances in sensors, electronics, and artificial intelligence have made it possible to design and manufacture more sophisticated drones, equipped with multiple sensors and assessing more autonomy during flight. Since the early 2000s, larger drones powered by jet engines and capable of carrying precision-guided weapon systems have begun to appear. The emergence of unmanned combat aircraft systems stimulated a debate among aerospace and defense circles as well as security planners and decision makers on the future of air power. The technological developments have begun to indicate the coming of fully autonomous combat aircraft that can undertake various high-risk missions, thereby largely eliminating the necessity of piloted aircraft, if not fully eliminating this need in the not-too-distant future. On Thursday, the 30th of August, Turkey's largest aviation space and tech event, Technofest Black Sea, kicked off at the Karsamba Airport in the Samsun region. This is where the Kizil Elma was showcased. The drone is still a work in progress and its first flight is not scheduled until at least 2023. The Kizil Elma is a jet supersonic stealth airborne unmanned aerial vehicle and the latest member of the Bayraktar drone series by Baykar Technology. The design was first revealed to the public in July 2021, and the program was previously known as Muharip Insanzi's Ukak Sistemi, MIUS, which translated means Unmanned Combat Aircraft System. The name Kizilelma, Red Apple in Turkish, was announced in March 2022. The concept of Red Apple is important in Turkish tradition, symbolizing an idea or ultimate goal for the nation or state. The name, therefore, has a special meaning, manifesting the significance of this challenging project for the company and for Turkey. The underdevelopment Kizil Elma is an armed drone powered by Ivshenko single turbofan jet engine. The aircraft has delta wing and canard configuration, 
The small forewings or canards are mounted forward of the main wings, which have a triangular shape. The overall geometry of the airframe is consistent with contemporary stealth aircraft designed with minimum protrusions and body angles, seemingly optimized for decreasing the radar cross-section. It can be assumed that the airframe coating and the paint will be of radar-absorbing material for better stealth. According to technical specifications shared by Vicar Technologies, the Kizil Elmo will be able to remain airborne for five hours and will have an operational ceiling of 11,000 meters, 35,000 feet. The maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft will be six tons with a payload capacity of 1.5 tons. The maximum combat radius, which is the maximum distance from its base the Kizil Elma can cover to perform combat missions, is stated as 500 nautical miles, which is about 930 kilometers. Maximum speed is 1,100 kilometers per hour and a cruise speed of 735 kilometers per hour. The Kizil Elma will have an internal weapons bay to carry precision guided missiles and bombs a feature that further contributes to the aircraft's stealth characteristics. Although the images and videos released by Bicar Technology do not show any hardpoints under the wings for carrying weapons or other systems, their presence is highly possible. The Turkish defense industry offers a wide range of precision-guided weapon systems for the Kizil Elma. Among them are the SOMJ air-to-surface cruise missile, the HGK, the LGK, the Miniature Bomba, Teber and Laysen Precision Guided Bombs, Kakir Air-Launched Anti-Ship Missile, and Goktogon and Bozdogon Air-to-Air -air Missiles. The main sensor of the Kizil Elma is planned to be an active electronically scanned array radar system for detection and guidance currently being developed by Asselsan, as well as advanced electro-optical cameras and electronic warfare systems. Bicar Technology presents fully automatic takeoff and landing and beyond line of sight data link capability as among the Kizil Elma's capabilities. The Kizil Elma is also claimed to be aircraft carrier compatible, being able to perform takeoff and landing operations from short flight decks. It has taken the war in Ukraine to show the world that Turkey can make a mean drone. Since the onset of the invasion of Ukraine on February 25th, the Turkish-made Bayraktar TB2 drone has been celebrated as a force multiplier, a symbol of Ukraine's resistance to the Russian invasion, as well as a source of national pride. The Bayraktar TB2 proved to be very effective in Turkish military service. This attack drone made its name as a Turkish pincer killer. During military action in Syria and Libya, these drones reportedly destroyed a number of Russian-made Panzer S1 short-range air defense systems. In 2020, during a military conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan, this combat vehicle was successfully used by Azerbaijani forces to knock out Armenian OSA AKM air defense systems. It turns out that this attack drone is a tough nut for aging air defense systems. So far, 12 countries operate the Bayraktar TB2, including Ukraine, where at least 36 of the TB2 aircraft have been purchased by the country's armed forces. Militarily, the drones have played a critical role in Ukraine's fight against the invasion of Russian ground forces. In April, the drone was credited as being an integral component in a Ukrainian operation that sank the Soviet-era missile destroyer Moskva. It is so popular in Ukraine that even a song was famously penned to honor the drone and several Ukrainian animals have also been named Bayraktar as a tribute. Designer of the Bayraktar, Selkuk Bayraktar, recently told Reuters, the TB2 is doing what it is supposed to do, taking out some of the most advanced anti-aircraft systems and advanced artillery systems and armored vehicles. The whole world is a customer. The company is able to produce 200 TB2 drones annually, he added. Bangladesh, Iraq, and Poland currently have the TB2 on order, and 10 more countries could be possible sales in the future. With the development of these new combat aircraft, there will be a revolution in warfare, Bayraktar said of his newest project. Bayraktar Kizil Elma will be the first unmanned combat aircraft of our country. Since the development of our first drone, it has been a dream of ours, he added. The debut of Kizil Elma will mean, some believe, costs can be reduced and therefore can expand the Air Force inventory for many countries. 
The countries that are not capable of acquiring fighter jets from the West because of financial matters will possibly prefer products like the Kizil Elma, which can conduct air-to-air -air combat. If a country owns an unmanned and low-cost fighter jet, it will make other countries reconsider entering into conflicts as the loss of such combat aircraft cannot impact a country like manned ones. Turkey was not able to keep up with the tank and aircraft industry of the past. However, thanks to the lessons it has learned, it has become among the best in manufacturing combat drones. Now, no matter if the war is regular or irregular, Turkey can deal with any kind of war as it is proven in Libya, Syria, Nagomo Karabakh, and Ukraine. What do you think of the Kizil Ilma? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.